ladies and gentlemen, this is Trisha with Insectopia, and today we will be talking about a spider that has been hitting the news, the Joro spider. We have all heard the headlines, palm-sized arachnid, flying spiders, here comes the Joro spider, oh my, let's break down these headlines and learn a little something along the way. This spider is a non-native species originating from Southeast Asia and was first found in the United States in 2013. It is closely related to the golden orb weaver spider and makes beautiful large webs with golden silk to catch food with. Female Joro spiders can grow up to three inches long. This does not make them dangerous or deadly, just large. This spider even feeds on the invasive brown marmorated stink bug, which many native spiders will avoid. But what about it flying? Can spiders really fly? As a baby spider or spiderling, they perform a behavior called ballooning. Ballooning is when a spiderling shoots a web into the air. The spider is so light that the wind will pick up the thread of spider silk and the spiderling. It floats through the air. This is a great dispersal method for the baby spiders. Ballooning spiderlings have been reported to travel up to 100 miles. This distance helps to decrease the chance that they will be competing for food or space with their siblings. This is a behavior that is not unique to the Joro spider, as many other orb weavers also balloon. You will never see a hand-sized Joro spider ballooning, as this is a behavior that is only done by the young. The Joro spider is a large spider, and no, it is not poisonous. Yes, it is venomous. If you would like a recap on poison versus venom, you can follow the link above. Even though this spider is venomous, it is not medically significant. If a person wants to be bit by this spider, it may hurt for a while, but it will go away on its own. The bite will only require medical attention if you are allergic to them. To recap, the females can grow to the size of your palm, but they are not dangerous. Yes, they can float through the air, but only when they are young. They are even beneficial in feeding on the brown marmorated stink bug. The Joro spider appears in a variety of scientific papers, including the use of their silk in bulletproof vests. Spider silk has a tension strength stronger than steel. Scientists have also genetically modified silk moth caterpillars with the genes of this spider. The modified silk moth caterpillars produce 10% spider silk in their silk while making cocoons. Collecting silk from silk moths is much more efficient than collecting silk from spiders. These spiders are not a species to fear, but a species that we should continue to learn from. Thank you for listening. Here is a picture of Joro spiders. Please feel free to check the description box for links to more information. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Come back soon to check out our next epic insect tale.